U.S. Airways shareholders have approved the merger with Fort Worth-based American Airlines. Fox 4's Laurie Berger is in our Fort Worth newsroom now with the details of the approval. Laurie. Well, this has been a long and complicated process getting these two airlines together, Heather, but uh, today's vote by U.S. Airways shareholders clears one of the final hurdles to creating the world's biggest airline. Owners of U.S. Airways stock will receive 28 percent of the shares in the combined company. The rest is slated to go to creditors, employees, and shareholders of AMR, the parent company of American Airlines. U.S. Airways CEO Doug Parker will run the new airline, which will remain based in Fort Worth and retain the American name. Critics have said merging the two airlines will reduce competition and drive up prices for consumers, and that's one of the final hurdles to sealing this deal. Well, the only obstacle left is really the antitrust issue, and that's being resolved in Washington, D.C. right now. But we don't believe that's going to represent a major roadblock, and our expectation is that we will exit bankruptcy with a new management team in place in September. American Airlines released a statement today saying we're pleased U.S. Airways shareholders voted to approve the merger agreement with American, representing continued progress on our path toward building the world's leading airline. Of course, many people who follow the airline business know that this consolidation is the way that it's gone in recent years. If the American U.S. Airways merger is approved, 80 percent of domestic air flights will be controlled by just four companies. Heather. All right, Larry Berger, thanks much.